What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Storm Collectibles, the baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson action figure. And so here we have Mike Tyson posed and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at what he comes with because he does come with quite a few accessories. Mike Tyson does come with three head sculpts. He comes with a neutral expression head sculpt. He comes with a head sculpt where he's controlling his breathing. And then he comes with a head where he's performing an, a punch. He also does come with three different titles. He does come with the WBC World Heavyweight Championship. He comes with the WBA World Heavyweight Championship. And then he also does come with the IBF World Heavyweight title. And they all do fit around his waist or you can have them displayed with them. Other than that, Mike Tyson really doesn't come with anything. No alternate hands, no robe, unfortunately. Other than that, I don't know what more you would want to have with Mike Tyson. Maybe an ear inside joke there. But with that out of the way, let's actually have a closer look at Iron Mike Tyson. So here we have a closer look at Mike Tyson. And Storm Collectibles has done a really good job on his head sculpt. Now, they did do a really good job with the paintwork. It looks so much like Mike Tyson. It is a soft likeness, but it's enough of a likeness that you can tell that this is supposed to be Mike Tyson. Really like the way they did his hair. That's a really good job, especially the way it goes from dark and it fades out gradually. That's the way you're supposed to do shaved heads, and Storm Collectibles has nailed it. They did a really, really awesome job here on Mike Tyson. And I don't know what much more you would want out of... A Mike Tyson in his prime because that is what this version of Mike Tyson is supposed to be. Having a look at the torso we can see that Mike Tyson is pretty built for the time like Mike Tyson during his prime was built like a tank and Storm Collectibles has captured that really well here. You can see his bicep has this really nice vein going down it all the way to the forearm. On the right arm you can see that he has his Mike tattoo as well as a tattoo of a cross right there. Just overall really do like the sculpt work on Mike Tyson. Now, just like with most Storm collectible figures, his upper torso is a softer, pliable piece, and that allows for more articulation. Unfortunately, one downside to that is you can see the heads do scrape along it, and they scrape really hard. Heads are solid plastic. Torso is softer plastic, so the head ends up winning. So do be aware of that when you're posing Mike Tyson around. You can see he is wearing Everlast boxing gloves. And they did a really good job with the boxing gloves. They could have done a little better on the lace work. Like you can see that there's parts where the laces don't actually connect. But overall that's a really good job there. And they did a really good job printing the Everlast logo. And it does have Everlast and then the Circa made in the USA, so we really do like that. For his rest, or for his boxing trunks, you can see he also does have the Everlast right here going on to the back. I really do like the fact that his trunks are soft goods and that does make it easy posing the figure. You can see he has all his sponsorships right here. We have a USA patch right there. Again, the soft goods do help with posing him. Being a boxer, he really doesn't have anything on his legs, no wraps, no nothing. And that's the way Mike Tyson was. And then we go on to his black boots, which have really nice lace work on them. Really good. I do feel like his feet are a little bit big, but it does compensate for standing him. So it's not anatomically perfect for Mike Tyson, but they did a really good job capturing what he looked like in his prime. And that's what we were looking for. So overall, really do like the way he came out. So what we're going to do now is compare him to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Mike Tyson posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Mike Tyson posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Mike Tyson posed next to a Hasbro Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we have Mike Tyson posed next to a Storm Collectibles Muhammad Ali. 
So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. Now, Iron Mike Tyson here does have a lot of articulation, and that's what we've come to expect from Storm Collectibles. He does have a ball joint in the head, so we can look up about that far. Can't really look down because of the way his head is sculpted, but he does tilt side to side. He does have a barbell joint going from the neck, from the head into the torso. So in conjunction, you can move his head a little bit forward. You can make it look back a little bit more. You can tilt his head side to side really well. So I do like that. Head does rotate, but again, be very cautious on how you're moving the head. The head is harder plastic. And if you have the torsos resting too high or have his head sitting too low, you will start scraping the plastic, the softer plastic on his chest. He does have a ball joint going into a socket in the shoulder, so that does provide some forward and backwards movement. We do have a nice rotation right here, so it does go up, down, back, forth, and everything that you need it. And that's for both arms. They do go out to about there. They do a full 360. They have a bicep swivel, which works really well. Double bend in the elbow, only giving us a little bit past 90 because his bicep is so bulky, but that's perfectly okay for me. Now, he does have your traditional Storm Collectibles hinge, which is a ball joint going into the wrist, and then we have a hinge right here, but because the way his boxing glove is sculpted, you're mainly just going to get a swivel out of that. You can get some movement, but it's going to be very limited. He does have a ball joint in the torso, which does allow him to lean back about that far. He can lean forward about that far. Not as agile as you would expect, but he does get some really nice tilts right here, so that's really good. Now, most of the movement is going to be done down here in his lower abdomen, so combining both those joints, you can see he leans forward about that far. Leans back a lot better than he leans forward. And then combining those, we get some really nice tilt on Mike Tyson here. So he can dodge punches, weave, bob, and then throw hooks. So I really do like that. His legs do kick forward to about there. Not at all hindered by, the, by his trunks, which I do like that. They go all the way out to the side. He can do the split, although this is the only part where it's a little bit hindered because of the crotch piece inside right here as well as the trunk, so be aware of that. He does have thigh swivel up high, double bend in the knee, giving us a really good range of movement there. He does swivel at the boot, have a hinge in the ankle, which goes back and forward a little bit, forward facing pin for rocker ankle. And then of course we do have a toe hinge. So overall, Iron Mike Tyson here is phenomenally executed by Storm Collectible. So what we're gonna do now is take a little break Get him pose for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Iron Mike Tyson pose for my final thoughts, and overall, Storm Collectibles has nailed yet another great figure. There are a few shortcomings on this figure, especially when it comes to how much he can cover up. When it comes to boxing, you want to be able to cover up as much as you can, and this figure, because he's so bulky, just can't get the job done. Now, that's not saying this is a bad figure. I just kind of wish that they added just a little more range in his elbows and made his butterfly joints come a little closer to his chest just so he can cover up punches. But overall, this is a really nice figure to add into your collection, especially if you're a fan of boxing or especially if you're a huge fan of Iron Mike Tyson, one of the most dominating boxers in our generation. Now, Mike Tyson here is a really nice figure. Now... I did order mine off eBay because at the time I'm making this video, he is kind of hard to come by. Bluefin Distribution does not have this figure in stock anymore, as well as the Big Bad Toy Store, so I had to go to eBay to get him, which he did cost me about $80. That's pretty expensive for Mike Tyson, seeing as how he was $60 at retail, but because I was a little late to pick him up, I did have to pay a little bit extra because he did sell out everywhere else. But if you're a fan of Mike Tyson, I really think you should have this in your collection. This is a really gorgeous looking figure. The heads on this figure look phenomenal and the belts that he comes with are really accurate to what he wore at the time. So if you want to get this figure, you will have to go to secondhand market because places like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and Bluefins don't have this figure in stock anymore. 
With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other action figure, storm collectible, and other import videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, don't forget to take a look at my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.